What's happening, man? It's Dominique Trap Franson, and you watching Two School Sports. Wow! Na 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 na! Boom! <laughs> the Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, let's talk about Wang Hang Meniothan. TBE, 54 and 0. 54 men tried. 54 had a game plan, and all 54 failed. All right? The WBC. Minimum weight or straw weight world champion. Recently, he announced his retirement. He said, you know what? I've had enough of this boxing. You know, I'm going to take some time in my body to heal. I'm, I'm, I'm hanging my gloves up, right? So that was, that was a couple of days ago. Then a day after he announced his retirement, he then says, well, no, he's not retiring, which, which makes sense because it was only just last June that Manny Yothan signed a deal with Golden Boy Promotions. So he's back. He's back. And you know what's funny? I've been, knowing, I've been knowing about Wang Hang Meniothan for a long time. But this is actually my first video about him. So, 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 so shout out to him. Shout out to him in Thailand. He probably can't understand. If he, if, if, if he sees this video or if somebody from his team sees this video, you guys probably don't understand a damn thing I'm saying. But shout out to you, champ. 54-0. I don't care what nobody says. Everybody, everybody, was saying when De everybody was saying when Deontay Wilder. Everyone was saying when Deontay Wilder was like, you know, 40-0, you know, whatever he was. They were like, oh, my God. He knocked out all these people. You know how hard it is to beat all these guys. They're all grown men. Well, you know what? We're gonna apply. We're gonna apply that logic to TBE, Wang Hang Meniotha. Now, I wanted to talk about his career for a bit, um, and I guess the announcement and then the backtrack of the announcement. So, people a after he announced retirement, people who have never heard of him, who were just hearing about him for the first time because of his retirement, they said, "Well, is his 54-0 record the biggest scam in boxing?" And my 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 question would be. And my answer to that would be, no, it's not, because he's 54-0. You know how hard it is to go 54-0? Especially in them small weight class? Now, I know he hasn't really fought the best opposition. He hasn't. Uh, but guess what? He's, what, I think he was 30, 33, 34 years old. He signed, a, he signed a promotional deal with Golden Boy Promotions. So he was going to, you know, he's on this cusp, and now that he's coming back, he might just be fighting. He might just be fighting the top opposition, the top opposition, the top opposition. Jesus, BT, sound it out. Sound it out, BT. Top opposition that we want to see him fight. Obviously, in, in that weight class, there's the big fight, the big unification fight with the other best fighter in the division, uh, knockout CP Freshmart. And that's the fight I want to see. I want to see Wang Hang Reniothan, a.k.a. TBE, the real one. I mean, Wimbledon Gonzalez is, is, is my personal real TB, but I mean, 54 0, you can't scoff at 54 0. I mean, Joe Kazagi went 46 0, Mimbo went 50, 50 0, but this guy's 54 0. 54 had a game plan, 54 fell. And they kissed the feet of the king, Wang Heng Reniothan. Now listen, all jokes aside, he's in Thailand. And one thing people must understand about boxing, especially about fighters that are not from the States and come from third world countries, um, it all comes down to resources and who you have behind you. And this guy really didn't have a ton of resources come from Thailand. He didn't. He hasn't. But his talent was good enough to capture the attention of Golden Boy Promotions. He signed a deal with Golden Boy Promotions. So if... The, the the articles are true, and he's not actually retiring, and he's coming back. Then that would that would have to mean that he's gonna have to come here to the states and, and, and show the world that hey, he's uh, he's a legitimate champion, because that that that's been called into question by people who've never heard of him. Um, now we must be honest. It doesn't matter if he goes 75 and 0 and beats all the top 10 contenders at 105, never moves up. There's always gonna be a, a good percentage of boxing fans that don't know who he is because they, people just don't watch boxing. Uh, that small, that, that far down the weight classes, you know, some, a lot of people stop watching boxing or stop following the weight classes after 126. That's just how, that's just the nature of the game. But I'm interested to see it, 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 him come to the states. I, I, I really want to see it, man, because um, I'm actually, I'm actually, I actually want to see for myself if, if, how, how good he really is. Um, because I, I mean, I haven't had a chance to, I haven't actually watched that down and watched any of his fights. I've seen clips here and there, but I haven't, I have, I haven't actually had the chance to sit down and. And, 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 and bless myself by watching TBE fight, but, um, you know, he can't be trash. He's 54-0. Um, and, I, yeah, what, what, I, what, I, what I wanted to say is, is that boxing, uh, and this is something, this is something that, that a lot of times boxing fans don't understand. Um, I understand this because I, I'm, I, get a lot of, I get a lot of access to what goes on in the South Florida boxing scene. And a lot of the fighters that train here, and they tell me things about how the boxing actually works, and I get, I get information that way. But um, a, lot, a lot of times boxing is, is just resources because you can have a fighter 
that could have every intention of the world of, of wanting to, be, to prove himself to be a great fighter. Um, but either A, he doesn't have the money behind him to get certain opportunities. B, um, he's in a country where the best fighters uh, are not there. Um, it's, just, it's just a lot of politics that goes on in boxing. and I'm not saying that you can't overcome these politics because you can. If there's will, there is a way. So that's why, I'm, that's why we should actually applaud Wang Hang Rani Othen. He came from a country where traditionally, you know, um, most fighters do not, ca do not get any sort of attention from American promoters. But he got the attention of Golden Boy Promotions. They signed him. And he's going to, I mean, if he's coming back, I, I would be led to believe that he's going to get his chance to, to, to prove to the world that his 54 no record isn't a sham. And for you people out there, right, I have people, because I, I, a lot of times my community posts, the, the, those posts that I have on YouTube, I'm, I use this post to joke around. I post funny pictures. I say funny things. I troll a lot. But it's funny. A lot of you people say, oh, well, he's only at 105 pounds. You know, how good could he be? And let me, let me just remind you guys. Roman Chalatito Gonzalez, one of the best fighters of, of his era. Arguably, there's, there's an argument to be made. He's the best fighter of his era. Number one, over Pacquiao and Floyd. And you guys are going to say that's crazy. Um, and maybe, maybe that's a video I can do later on. But there's an argument to be had that he's, argue, that, that he's the best fighter of his era. And, let, let, and even if you don't think he was the best fighter of his era, he's still a damn good fighter. He's a future, he's a future Hall of Famer. He's going he's, he's, he's to go to the Hall of Fame. He's been in big time fights. Um, Roman Gonzalez is going to go to the Hall of Fame, and he started off at 105. He started off at straw weight, right where Wayne Hammany Othin is. Um, but he scaled weight classes, and that's how he got his attention. He didn't get his, he didn't get his attention as a 105 pounder. He had to move in weight. Now, I don't think many Othin's going to move in weight because he's already 34, 35 years old. This isn't like a Roman Gonzalez scenario where he's coming to the States at 28, 29 years old. He's a lot older. He's, his body's a lot more mature. But the fact remains, the guy should get respect. Um... Because mind you, you know, this boxing for him, he's not trying to get famous. He's not trying to um, build a brand like a lot of these fighters from America. He's not doing any of that. This is probably his only way out of poverty. And um, I'm behind the guy. I want to see him do well. I want to see him succeed. I want to see him just uh, become everything he can be. But anyway, that's the news, man. Many Othin is going to come back. He's going to, um, he's going to come back. He's not retiring. They're saying that that's not going to be a thing. And I'm looking forward to seeing how it all goes for him. I'm rooting for him. I want to see him definitely uh, progress and, and, and show, show the world that, hey, uh, not Rong Vasai isn't the only good fighter from Thailand. And, and, and I can fight too. And that my 54 record isn't a sham. And that's just what it is. So you guys leave your comments down below. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. We're at the Davy Powell. And you're watching True School Sports.